Hello, I'm the Dead, and today I want to show you um, a new update for the PSP Custom Farmers ME and LME. This is for the Farmers 6.20, 6.39 and 6.60. This is my PSP E1000. Um, it's a bit dark in the room, so yeah. Uh, I hope you can see it. It's the PSP E1000. It has no Wi-Fi, that's why it has no MAC address, and it's running the newest version 6.60. Um, at first I will use my Lightspeed XMB mod and start the LME custom farmer. The newest version of the LME XMB mod was made for the version 1.8, but it is also compatible with this LME 2 version. The new version um, is an update from the version 1.8, it's actually 2.0, but we just shortened the name to 6.60 LME 2 because it's shorter and it kinda looks better than 2.0. Okay, now about the new features. Um, as you can see, okay, I should change the language to English. Okay, as you can see, under UMD ISO mode, we can now select the Inferno driver. Previously, we just had normal OE, M33, Sony, and the ME driver. Now we also have the ability to use the Inferno driver, which is known from the Pro Custom Farmer. Um, some games require the Inferno driver, like the new Final Fantasy Type-0 English patched. Well, that's not entirely true. It was possible to play with the Sony driver or from the UMD, but if you use the patched version, you had to use the Inferno driver to get the cutscenes. Any other custom farmer was unable to render the cutscenes, because the game is simply too big. Um, under advanced and advanced config, there are now a, a few new um, Inferno driver settings. And another new thing is under MISC, we have new cutters for the recovery menu. This yellow one, for example, is new. This white one is new. Green was previously available. Same as red and blue, those were already available. Gray is new. Pink is new. Purple is new, turquoise is new, and orange. And like I previously said, yellow is also new. So you now have a total of 10 colors for your recovery menu, so one of these should fit your likings. And that's basically it with the new features. Um, that was once again made by the developer Rahim US. He um, updated the me and LME custom farmer from 1.8 to 2.0, or if we look at the 6.39 version, from 9.8 to 10. He is also responsible for the 6.20 versions of the me and LME custom farmers and the permanent patch for the LME custom farmer too. Um, since it is uh, a PSP E1000 that it only supports the farmer 6.60 and 6.50, it is unable to use the permanent patch, unfortunately. This one is now a PSP 1000. Since it's an old device, it can use the Mi Custom Farmer and boot directly into the Custom Farmer. Once again, I have to change the language to English. And what I said, this one is called 6.39 ME10. The 6.39 ME10 and the 6.60 ME2 are basically the same. The only difference is the base farmer changed from 6.39 to 6.60. But the ME10 and the ME2 are basically the same. The revision on the 6.39 is a bit higher because there were previous revisions available since the 6.39 is an older farmer. Same game here, Inferno Driver, then the Recovery Menu, the new Inferno settings, which are available under Advanced and Advanced Config. Oh, and the thing I really, really like about the Mi Custom Farmer is these battery config options. If your PSP is old enough and supports writing to the battery serial, you can change your battery into an auto boot battery, into a jig kick battery, which is a Pandora, or you can just make a normal battery. Usually my PSP 1000 has its Pandora battery, so in case I have to unbrick it, I can. 
And same things here, here are the new colors, yellow, white, and so on. What I really, really like on these old screens, which would be the E1000 and the PSP 1000 screen, is blue and yellow, because they look very good on this old screen. On the newer screen, I would recommend purple, blue, and green. But for my older devices, I'm just using yellow or green, which is default. So that's basically it for my PSP um, 1000. Uh, what I wanted to show is, like, I'm running the Mi Custom Fiber with the Inferno Driver, and if I start the Final Fantasy Zero English patched version, um, it used to not have these cutscenes, but now it has it. If you use the Inferno Driver, you have cutscenes at every PSP, including the old PSP 1000. So it was not a matter of RAM that it did not display the cutscenes, but if the game crashes or gets black screen or whatever, it's most likely that it's um, because of the 32 MB RAM, if it's working on other devices. Okay, there we go, that's much brighter. Okay, in part demo system, nope. If I now press nothing, there will be a cutscene which is at first black with subtitles and then it will show a video. If you used this game on a different custom firmware than the Mi, LME or Pro, so basically if you used it without the Inferno driver, these cutscenes would have been black and I think they wouldn't have played sound. You could have skipped them with X like this, but you couldn't watch them on different custom firmwares or with different ISO drivers. If you're using a PS Vita, you can use TNV version 8 or 9 because those have the Inferno driver and those can play this game with cutscenes without problems and so on. And the last thing I want to show you is, once again, pretty simple. I have to put my camera on now a bit higher. Usually I have to put my devices higher, but okay, it's something on my PSP Go. As you can see, it takes a while to start, but this has something to do with the permanent patch. So, if you are running Farmer 6.20, you can instantly boot into your recovery... No, yes. Both. You can instantly boot into the custom farmer, I wanted to say, but it's also possible to instantly boot into the recovery menu. As you can see, I'm running 6.20 LME2. The 6.20 Me2 and LME2 are basically the same as the 6.60 Me2 and LME2. Only the difference is that the base farmer changed from 6.60 to 6.20 or the other way around. Who cares? Same game on the go. And a Inferno driver. New recovery menu colors, new inferno settings in the recovery menu under advanced and advanced config. And what I really like about the PSP 2000, 3000 and Go is the better screen. And I like the colors blue and purple on these devices. Blue is a bit dark, that's why I'm not using it, but it looks very very good on these newer devices, but it also looks good on the old devices. And purple looks also very very good on these devices. It looks a bit washed out on the 1000 and E1000 due to the old screen, but whatever. But mostly I'm using green because that's default color. Same thing at the PSP Go, you can start and still pause your games. You can also do this with the new Final Fantasy Type Zero, which I will now resume. This is one of my favorite features, and that's why the PSP Go is my favorite custom farmer. That, and the internal storage of 16GB, is that you can pause games on the go. <laughs> on the go. Um, there are exists plug in to do the same on the PS Vita, and the PSP 2000, 3000, and E1000, but it's not as good as this XMB feature, in my opinion. I really, really like this one. As you can see, this one also has cutscenes, so no problem, you can play this game without any 
select bugs, problems, freezes, or whatever on the piece B, farmers, enemy, me, and pro. But in my opinion, there's no reason to still use a pro custom farmer since the me and LME now has a farm driver. I would use a pro custom farmer for the pro online feature, but I'm not really using it. And for the no DRM engine, the DLC decryption and other few, few different features, um, there exists plugins to do the same on the me and LME custom farmer, and I think it's not really necessary to make these built in because on all the devices, this is just um, wasting um, space. Like on the PSP 1000, you even have less space than you already have if you put more stuff in there. That's why I like to use some things for plugins. Like the Hide Custom Farmer Folders plugin is equivalent to the Pro Recovery Menu feature Hide Custom Farmer Folders, and so on. I think that's basically everything I wanted to say. I'm that, and see you soon.